Howdy, 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 my darling Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be getting into your monthly tarot reading, Pisces, for July 2022, all right? So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Pisces, go on ahead, honey. Just hit that like and subscribe, darling. It's completely free to do, and it helps out this tarot reading channel a lot, all right, darling? Um, as well, be sure to let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates with you, all right? Because that's how I keep up with y'all, Pisces. Be sure, as well, speaking of which, Pisces, to check out your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, darling, to get the full spectrum what's going down in your life because that is how you make these youtube zodiac tarot readings resonate with you darling is by catering the energy to your chart rather than just taking a sun sign general tarot reading and making calling out a day honey all right so pisces we're going to be doing three rows for you darling all right for your monthly tarot reading for july your first row is going to be for your financial as well as your career situation for july all right darling and then we're going to be taking a look at your social life here pisces all right your social life because not everyone's interested in love all right your social life this could be a friendship platonic relationship or romantic relationship family honey work related darling your your relationships honey your social life all right and then in the third and final row for you pisces we're going to be getting into your general predictions honey for july so overall i like this energy oh, honey yes yes okay pisces i like this energy a lot for you honey can i just say spoiler alert your month is looking probably y'all my last zodiac sign that i'm reading for pisces and y'all got the best monthly tarot reading honey all right so before we get i'm getting ahead of myself because i'm just ready to jump into y'all's cards honey uh pisces for your back of the deck tarot card here, we have the Empress card coming in here, all right? The Empress card is the card of fertility, all right? She is the card that um, when life experiences happen to her, they do not happen to her, they happen for her because those life experiences are going to be what uh, allows her to create the world that she that is inside of her, right? Allow to create the reality that she wants to put out there into the world here all right you guys for the month of july have the blessing of the empress of quite literally a lot of people are going to be finding you attractive this month here pisces don't be surprised if you notice that your dms are not dry at all darling all right this is the opposite of having dry dms in the platonic sense as well as the romantic sense here a lot of people are finding you desirable at this time i will be saying though pisces just be aware because people are finding you desirable at this time some people may want to take advantage think that they can take advantage of it so keep Keep your guard up darling all right always protect yourself when you have the empress energy blessing you darling all right that strong feminine energy honey that we all have so for your career and financial situation here pisces for the month of july we have the three of pentacles the two of swords as well as the knight of swords coming in here and while we're keeping this empress energy in mind in the back of the deck here darling all right in your career situation i feel as if you guys are I like this for you, uh, Pisces. The first message that came to mind is that y'all are going to be uh, making the ch uh, uh, choice to commit towards a new path here. All right. I feel as if like this sense is like some of you guys want to get like a certificate somewhere or just like some something on paper, something that certifies you or qualifies you to do something here, Pisces. All right. Maybe some of you guys are thinking about entering into like a course or a master class. Very, very fruitful for you. All right. Very, very fruitful. And I'll tell you how, because it's through you doing whatever extracurricular that it is or maybe it's in your current work environment if you work like an office job or something but it's like you're going to be meeting someone in the work environment there for whatever it is that you do that ends up being a nice kind of social connection for you now what you do with that social connection it's going to be different for all you pisces darling all right but definitely furthering your knowledge seems to be the biggest blessing that's happening for you guys because it's like through you furthering your knowledge it crosses your path with the people that you want to have your path be crossed by all right your social life here for the month of july pisces is the six of swords nine of pentacles knight of swords as well as that empress energy once again in the back of the deck here this is interesting here to me pisces i feel like for your social life you guys are walking away from a lot of instabilities i feel as if for you guys it's like your social life has been stressing out stressing you out so much that it's been impacting your ability to um have like either create further financial success like i get like the sense is like there's some relationship that like if it wasn't existing 
or if it wasn't stressing you out daily you would be able to put more work towards your passion put more like be able to create more abundance here all right i get like this sense for you pisces that it's like someone from your past coming in to help you out and at some point in july i don't feel like you guys are going to re-engage and talk to one another right to remember what i just said at the beginning darling with this empress energy so i mean unless y'all make the choice in allowing yourself being taken advantage of honey i mean okay but um I get like this sense of like someone from your past, someone that you had moved on from at one point in time, coming back in and blessing you. All right. This is giving me very much so as like an analogy, Pisces, like a friendship or like a romantic relationship that ended sourly. Like you end up getting like a random message from them that either brings forth closure or helps you out in some way. I don't know. It's like there's something from the past where it's just like it just randomly like you just receive like a random message, random text from somebody that you don't really didn't really anticipate ever hearing from again. And they're just checking up on you and they bring forth something good from that. All right. Whether that's closure or what have you, darling. All right. So that's your social life. Now, general predictions for you here, Pisces. All right. You got three major arcanas coming in here for your general predictions. And this is before the clarifiers, darling. All right. Um, big transitions are coming in for you guys. Y'all are going through, I'm being shown a butterfly. So maybe you guys are going through a pretty transformative time right now. Y'all got the sun card, this magician, as well as the lovers, honey. All right. Some of you guys, for my singles out there, Pisces, I don't feel like you're going to be... Mm, and especially with the Empress energy in the back of the deck here. I don't know, Pisces. I don't know if you're going to be... See, I don't think y'all are... Are y'all looking for, like, that relationship? Like, that romance, darling? All right. Are y'all looking for that romance? I'm going to say, I feel like July for you is just going to be a month of where you're just enjoying being spoiled by people. Can I just say that, Pisces? I, I mean, not to say that you're not going to get, like, something depthful from some one of those relationships in the month of July. But I feel as if you would be doing yourself a disservice if you were to lock yourself down to just, like, one person. All right? I get, like, the, I don't know, Pisces. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like this is a month for you where it's just, like, enjoy the spoils from everybody. From all places. From wherever it comes from, darling. All right? I don't really get this as a time to be settling. But I feel like y'all just going to be enjoying a lot of attention here now because of that magician card as well as the sun card the best card in the tarot deck with that lover's energy if you have been pisces sitting out the intent of trying to manifest the one right if you subscribe to that or your soulmate or twin flame darling see very valid opportunity for where that would probably happen for many of you uh pisces here but just because you manifest that soul flame or, or soulmate or twin flame honey doesn't mean that it's going to be romance for all of you guys i just want to point that out so those are your predictions darling so let's get back into your um career let's see we, what we can clarify further with this just as a reminder pisces y'all had the three of pentacles two of swords with the knight of wands here in the back of the deck so what can we be clarifying for this situation here seven of pentacles coming in here five of cups and then we got the nine of wands coming in here back of the deck would be the five of wands here <sighs> all right pisces so i'm not going to be sugarcoating this for you darling all right i feel like the beginning part portion of the month of july for you is going to be a little bit rough all right it's going to be a little bit rough with complications i don't feel like it's complications with finances per se directly i feel like it, for you it's just like you embark on like a journey when it comes to your career and then you get a bunch of outside noise outside distractions that really um disturb your peace all right but i only feel like that happens for like the first week maybe two i don't even feel like full the full two months or two months honey <laughs> the full two weeks pisces i don't feel like that's gonna happen for the full two weeks all right but you just keep your head up above water during this initial time frame of july darling all right because you are going to be having a really solid harvest but you just got to keep make sure that you end keep, like keep your head up up until that point here what i get for you guys is like there's just like one big thing that you guys have to overcome in the month of july and then it's just like the rest of july is much easier sailing for you all right for your finance like i don't feel like you're gonna have anything unexpectedly financially come up for you i feel like it's just gonna be like um 
maybe nothing like outright like blessed wise but i feel as like you know receiving some random like big blessing in your career financial but i feel like it's just going to be nice easy sailing along with that social connection again i feel like for those that choose to further their knowledge it's like the person that you meet like because you are going to meet someone if you do choose to further your knowledge advance your knowledge and go to a different setting but it's like for those that do that person that you end up meeting seems to be able to be the answer to some of your problems as well is what i want to be saying all right darling oh girl not these cards falling over honey now going clearing clarifying your social reading now six of swords knight of swords knight of pentacle or <laughs> Six, <laughs> six of swords, knight of swords with a nine of pentacles. I don't know why I messed that up so badly. <laughs> uh, let's clarify your social. Life. Girl, not this five of wands coming right back out. Seven of wands in the back of the deck here. All right. So definitely a lot of people getting attention from a lot of people here, darling. A lot of, a lot of attention from a lot of different people. What I get for your social life here pisces the moment because again there's plenty this is literally the epitome of there's plenty of fish in the sea here darling pisces all right there are plenty of fish in the sea all right the moment one situation starts complicating themselves for you pisces let it go let it go in the sense of like maybe you don't cut them off as like just block them i mean you can darling all right so it's your business but let it go in the sense of you don't need to try so hard with relationships and i feel like you're trying it some of you guys are having to put so much time and energy and emotional investment with certain relationships in your life some of you guys have been suppressing your emotions so much just so certain relationships in your life are okay and you do not need to be trying so hard pisces all right you do not need to be trying so hard ask yourself why it is that you are choosing to try so hard if you know it's like some of you guys are suppressing your own truth your own yeah your own truth your own comfort you're sacrificing that because you don't want to uh potentially inconvenience someone or like you're trying to avoid re someone reacting in a certain type of way. And isn't that just like a red flag in of itself, Pisces, where it's just like by you speaking up about something that you're uncomfortable by or just whatever that so that bothers this other person so much. They don't care about you, Pisces. Move on from them. All right. Because there's so many fish in the sea in July that are finding you attractive at this time, darling, that it's just like they are not worth that effort now for the exciting part the most exciting part really pisces because this is all has been better been exciting honey okay but um in the prediction aspect right with the uh sun card magician and the lover's energy again i get the sense for many of you guys for my singles like whatever it is that you've been trying to um i just get like social like, like for many of you pisces i feel like many of you guys like have been manifesting this time just to feel extremely desirable all right and that's happening all right again i get this sense of just like receiving a lot of attention and it, mm, you know i said earlier that i don't feel like you like i was like are y'all looking for love necessarily pisces or are you just looking for attention nothing wrong with either answer by the way darling all right but i feel like for you five of swords here it's like someone that you maybe have initially saw as like a fling or maybe just someone that you like met but didn't feel like there was going to be like nothing would come of it right where you're just like ah we're only talking because we're in the same setting but after this like we ain't gonna see each other or talk to each other again i get like this sense of like someone that you it's like the person that i know this sounds so corny pisces forgive me darling but it's like it's that corny saying is like it ha like the th love happens in the, when you least expect it and i feel like that's what happens for you guys here all right for my singles pisces outside of the single life here i feel like for many like still just for the month of july you guys are like july seems to be a month for you guys where it's like you're bringing forth a lot of people uh, attracting a lot of people and while yes there's gonna be a lot of white noise a lot of just like super level super surface girl super surface surface level relationships interactions that you have with these people during this month pisces there's still there's still what is that the cream of the crop right there's still the cream of the crop that you would get a lot of depth from romantically or just from a sense of like human to human interaction honey right so pisces that's the tarot reading that i have for you let's get into your oracle cards for this month trust all will be well new moon and virgo trust in the process maybe some of you pisces have been feeling pretty anxious at this time all right especially with this new moon and gemini thinking it through and then the what is this the full moon and libra finding balance here y'all get out of your head pisces all right if i i swear to god i swear pisces if you've been in your head and thinking to yourself that with self-deprecating nature thinking you're not t attractive enough or what have you darling 
I'm gonna beat you. Even five of pentacles in the back of the deck here, honey. Pisces, I'm gonna beat you with love, honey. All right, stop, get out of your head here. You're being way too critical of yourself. You're being way too critical of a situation. Get out of your head. You're, you being in your head is your biggest villain, all right? You being in your head is your biggest villain, Pisces, so... That's what I got to say on that, darling. All right, Pisces. So hopefully you found something in this monthly tarot reading to resonate with you, darling. Remember, Pisces, if you want to book a private reading with me, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. If you want to connect with me on a more intimate level, my social medias are also linked next to it. TikTok and Instagram, simplyvelka, same as here, darling, if you want to connect with me there. But um, I love you so much, Pisces. Remember, I do weekly Zodiac readings every single week. So be sure to check out your uh, tarot readings each week for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, darling. And I'll be connecting with you, Pisces, hopefully sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.